All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. And today we've got a really, really interesting test to run. And I'm excited to jump into running some more of these style tests. We've got our first shotgun slug test on the channel here. And we've got a pretty interesting one to start out with, I must say. And those slugs are some of these guys. Salt Creek Custom 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, five pedal twister defensive slugs. It says on the side here, they're supposed to be going 1400 feet per second. I do have the chronograph, so we will be able to test that and see how close it is. Now, I'll put up a closer up picture on the screen here, but these slugs are really unique looking. They got five pedals there that are supposed to peel open and fragment apart when they enter a target. So I'm really interested to see how these perform today. But as for our setup, we're sticking with my typical Remington 1187. Now, no, this is not any kind of tactical shotgun or defense shotgun at all. However, I did put a scope on top and it's been perfect so far. And I did zero it in with some just Winchester slugs. So we should be able to see how accurate they are. And I threw in a cylinder bore choke. So it's no constriction whatsoever in this barrel here. Now, those slugs actually say on the Salt Creek website that they are four cylinder bore shotguns and that rifling actually can destabilize them. Now, we might potentially test some of that to see how true it is. I don't know. We'll see as we move forward. But as for today, I figured we start with exactly what they say to shoot it from. But as for our game plan as to what we're going to test out of these today, I have a target set up over here at 50 yards away from the bench, and we're going to test accuracy on these. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a ton of these, so we're only going to do one group of three shots to get our accuracy. It's not ideal, but it's what we're working with today. And yes, I fully realize that 50 yards is a lot more than defensive range is. But the fact is, if we shoot these at 10 yards or 15 yards, they're all going to go in the same hole. So if we want to see accuracy, we need to at least push it out to a little bit of range. So I figured 50 yards was a good medium. And of course, I do have the chronograph set up in front of the bench. So all three of our shots will be across the chronograph as we do our grouping. So we can get an average muzzle velocity on these as well. And then after we see what kind of accuracy we get, I do have some water jugs out here to see what kind of reactive explosion we can get out of these as well, as far as energy dump goes. Now, hopefully we might be able to catch a little bit of this slug in some of the water jugs. It's supposed to fragment apart, so I highly doubt we're gonna catch all of it. But if we can catch the main core portion of it, I think it'd be really interesting to take a look at. So let's go over here and shoot them and see how they perform. Okay, as far as our chronograph numbers go, the box called for 1400 feet per second, and I don't believe we saw 1400 feet per second, but we had a high of 1387, so almost 1400. We had a low of 1240, and we had an average of 1331 feet per second. So we're around 70 or so average below what the box calls for. But let's go down to the target and see how they group down there. All right, so down here at 50 yards, this is not quite the accuracy that I would have liked to have seen, to be honest with you. But they're not really meant to shoot 50 yards for accuracy like this. And if we look, it almost looks like they weren't quite fully stable down here at these ranges. This one was pretty close, I would say. But these two, I don't know about. But that's a six inch target circle there. So we're definitely talking probably somewhere between a 13 and a 15 inch group. Not ideal when it comes to slug accuracy for sure. But mind you, my gun is not a tactical gun. And this is the first test that we've done with these loads. Plus, they're not designed to be accurate out at these ranges like that. In at 10 yards or so, they're going to be touching or in the same hole for sure. But I was honestly hoping for a little bit better. But they are defensive slugs, so what we got is what we got out of them. And for those of you curious, this is the little gas check piece under the slug. It does have a little notch in it right there for whatever reason. But overall, nothing really too special to see out of this one. All right, well, after a little bit of a disappointing start here as far as accuracy goes, let's move on to some water jugs and see what kind of energy dump we have. And maybe, possibly, catch the whole slug or at least a few pieces of it. And I should mention, 
I did zero that scope with some Winchester one out slugs and at 50 yards it was putting them just about touching. So it's definitely a case of just these slugs as far as the accuracy is concerned. But anyway, the water jugs, I've got six of them set up over here. I'm going to stand eight or ten feet away just so I don't get absolutely soaked and I'm going to have the camera set up on them for you guys. That way you can see the energy dump. And then we'll dig around in them and see if we can find any pieces of the slug or hopefully the whole thing. But let's get spun around over here and shoot some water jugs and see what they can do on those as far as energy dump goes. All right, y'all, that dumped some serious energy on these water jugs. As you can see, our first jug here, there's really nothing left to it. Completely peeled it open, destroyed it. Second jug, same thing pretty much. Peeled it open, not really much left to it. Pretty well destroyed it. On to our third jug, a little bit less damage. Still had a pretty centered shot up here, but peeled it wide open. There's nothing really down inside of it to see. Not much left to it. Now for our fourth jug here, as you can see, we have an entrance here and we still have an exit out the back here. It looks like we might have the gas check or something down in the bottom of this one. Let's open this one up and see what it is real quick. All right, we got it open. So let's see what we got out of it. Yep, we've got two pieces of our little gas check and I think there's still something else in here. Oh, we got some pieces of lead here. So this is definitely not the full slug, but I would say that this chunk is definitely one of the five pedals on these for sure. And we also had this tiny little piece of lead in there with it, but at least we caught something from this slug. As for our fifth jug here, we've once again got an entrance hole right here in the front, pretty nice and center. And we still have an exit hole moving out the back here. So I believe the main portion of the slug is still on its way out. And it almost sounds like we have a little bit more in here of the slug. So let's pour this one out and see. What are we going to get? Well, it looks like another piece of the slug. I would say that's another piece of the pedals, I believe. So it definitely broke apart like it said it was supposed to. And as for our sixth jug here, we have once again an entrance hole. And we have a real small exit hole here but it could just be a crack. I can't get my finger into it. So I believe, yep, it feels like we've got something in here. So let's pour this one out and see what's in here. All right, what have we got here? Oh, so that definitely looks like the main base chunk of the slug. So this is what we've got left out of that last jug right there. It looks like maybe it might've hit the back and stopped right there and just cracked the back of it a little bit. But we've still got one of the pedals folded inwards on here, which is pretty surprising. But for the rest, we've got two that broke off for sure. And we're going to have two more that broke off and probably exited the jugs. One of them might have went out the back. But the others, I, I think odds are they went out the sides of the jugs somewhere along the way. But either way, that's some devastating performance and would definitely do the job in a defensive scenario for sure right there. All right, y'all. Well, what do you think about them? That was definitely some interesting testing, and I wish they were a little bit more accurate, but like I said before, that's 50 yards with a not tactical shotgun whatsoever with defensive shells that are not designed to really do that. But if we're talking defensive scenarios, 5, 10, maybe 15 yards, they're going to all be in the same hole. But as for our energy dump there, as you can see, we had three jugs completely destroyed and the slug penetrated all the way to the sixth jug of water. And there may have been another pedal or two that penetrated farther than that even. So definitely good penetration, good energy dump, good expansion. The pedals did what they were supposed to do. So as for a defensive slug, I definitely think that they can do what they're supposed to do. But all in all, what do you guys think about them? Is that a defensive slug that you would use? They would absolutely get the job done if you ever needed them to, that's for sure. But what are your thoughts about how they performed? I was hoping for a little bit better accuracy, but I really like the penetration and the energy dump that we saw out of them. But let me know your thoughts about it. And with that being said, 
I've got plenty more tests on the way for you guys, including more slug tests. So stay tuned for more if you guys like the slug test as well. So on that note, I'm going to jump back to it and I'll see y'all in the next one.